So a lot of talk about off-grid living, but what exactly is the grid and how can you be free of it? And also, do you really want to be free of it? So I'm off-grid, I class myself as off-grid, but in my head, I kind of see the grid as two things. So I should really say I'm off the physical grid because, I mean, obviously I'm talking to you guys through YouTube and Telegram. And uh, so I've got the internet, I've got a phone, I have a bank account. Um, I have hospital treatment, so I'm registered with, uh, with hospitals and GPs. So I'm not as off the grid as some of my friends, but I would say that I was off the physical grid. I don't have any running water. I'm on rainwater collection. I've not got mains electric. I'm on my solar power. So when the sun goes, the power goes out. Um, and if there's a power cut, I won't notice. I have bottled propane gas, which I don't like to use. I prefer to cook on wood, which I've got an endless supply of. Um, and I mean, it's, it's pretty good to think that I am completely reliant for myself. If I run out of power, then I can't blame anybody but myself. If I run out of firewood, I can't blame anyone but myself. And I quite like that level of self-reliance. But the information grid, that is something else. And with all the COVID passport talk, a lot of my friends have been thinking about more and more ways to get off the information grid. Um, and to me, so in my head, the information grid is pretty much everything that is modern technology based, modern civilization based, even public transport, trains, buses. That is a network grid that is connecting people. And I really don't know if that's one that I want to be off. Um, I mean, there's needing to be some sort of participation as a prepper in civilization still before SHTF happens. So it's, it's one of those things, I think, you've got to take the good and leave the bad. If you've seen that social, uh, so what's it called? Social Dilemma uh, documentary that's on Netflix, but it's really, really good. Again, that's using the grid to your advantage, getting information, looking information up. That's something that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have a phone or the internet access. So, I mean, that's not really the grid that I want to be off at the moment. But in the social dilemma, they say that technology and drugs are the two industries that call its customers users. And I think that that says a hell of a lot about how people should treat the information grid. I think people should take what they need and then leave it. If you treated Facebook like shots of tequila, you really, really would not overdo it. And I think that the information grid is exactly the same. I think use it to your advantage but acknowledge that things are being put there to make you dependent on the systems that are around us. So being free from the grid to me really does come in two parts. And again, most of the, most of the people that I know that are off grid are off the physical grid like myself and not off of the information grid. As a prepper, I mean, that is maybe something that people are looking more and more into doing at the moment. But, um, but yeah, so that's my views on what the grid is. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's quite an interesting one, really, because everybody talks about being off grid and then shows that off grid lifestyle with Instagram and YouTube and God knows Facebook, Twitter, whatever people are on nowadays. And it always seems a little bit oxymoronic to me, but that is the case. And it does kind of come under flag from a lot of people but I think the people that are off grid are the ones that aren't checking their Facebook compulsively, like aren't hooked into their emails. So I definitely think that, uh, that that's the best way. Canadian Prepper, absolutely fantastic channel that you guys should check out if you've not already. But uh, he always says, you know, you need to engage with the system to get out of the system. And I do totally agree with that. So until SHTF actually happens, unless this is a really slow burn and we've, uh, We've all just got a very, very high tolerance for, uh, for putting up with uh, the apocalypse. Then, I mean, I think using the information grid to your advantage and getting off of the physical grid is the, uh, is the ultimate goal for preppers at the moment. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a good weekend. Peace and love.